Good morning, everybody, and welcome to The Balancing Act. We are so glad you joined us. I'm Julie Moran. And I'm Olga Villaverde. Okay, today we're continuing our Broadway Balance as America series once again, going behind the scenes of Broadway's best shows as they travel across the country. And today we are talking The Sound of Music. My favorite. I love it. Celebrating its 50th anniversary this year, and that beloved musical continues to be one of the most successful movie musicals in history. In fact, trivia, okay. how many Academy Awards did it win? I just know this, five. Yes, yeah. including Best Picture. <laughs> and now the treasured story of Maria and the Von Trapp family is once again thrilling audiences as the brand new national tour comes to your city. I can't wait to see it. Also, I can't wait for the holidays. Me either. Do Love you have my gift yet? I've got them all. All right, and we've got great ideas from our friends at iRulu. The balancing act starts right now. Broadway Balances America brought to you by Broadway Across America, bringing the best of Broadway to a city near you. We are once again heading to Broadway and beyond as our Broadway Balances America series takes us behind the scenes of some of the most beloved Broadway musicals as they travel across the country and into your local theaters. Today, The Hills and our show are alive with the sound of music as the cherished movie musical celebrates its 50th anniversary with an all-new stage production. Balancing Act correspondent Amber Melt met with the creative team and the new actors taking on those iconic roles as they prepared for its national touring premiere. That's right, ladies. The Sound of Music truly is one of my favorite things. This classic has been revitalized, and the story and score are striking the right balance with today's audiences. Doe, a deer, a female deer, ray, a drop of golden sun. From stage to screen, it's a story that has been seen by millions the world over, with iconic songs that are embedded in the lexicon of our lives. So Jack, tell us about how you approach such a classic musical and how you're going to bring it, uh, give it new life. I have great respect for this piece when I started looking at this. One was the year 1938. Now, I've never thought about this piece historically. I encourage the company not to sing because the minute you hear those iconic songs, you start to relax and think, oh, here's, here are these songs from my childhood that I've loved all my life. As opposed to, this is a journey that's going on. We discovered things that were funny. We discovered things that were irreverent. We discovered things that were human. So everybody in the piece became instantly dimensional for me and for them. And that's the journey we took and it's been astonishing to us, all of us. You should know, um, clearly is this that. <laughs> Jack O'Brien, a three-time Tony Award-winning director whose illustrious Broadway career has spanned decades, is at the helm of this new production. There have been other r &H shows that have been looked at by really good directors, but nobody has gone sort of anywhere near this one. When I watch what Jack has done, I just sit there sort of in awe because there are things, there are lines that I didn't realize were there, and as a result, it seems completely new. Bringing the show back to the stage meant modernizing it and making sure Maria, a role that for many will always be associated with Julie Andrews, is relevant and relatable to today's woman. And this girl walked in the room and she was a kind of a jock. She was like a sort of girl field hockey player. And I thought, well, that's right. That's a country mountain girl who grew up on a mountain who didn't expect to have a career on the stage, uh, who thought she was gonna be a nun, and then realized maybe she was too hot to be a nun, for all we know. In other words, everything about her seemed completely unlikely. And when she opened her mouth, that voice, and I sort of fell in love. 
Well, Jack O'Brien's been really lovely about that. He's totally liberated me from feeling like I need to be Julie Andrews or need to be Mary Martin, because I know them so well as well. I've memorized that movie. But he's opening new doors and expanding horizons, and he's made Maria sort of a country girl. And I'm from Vermont, so it's totally, I get to incorporate my love of the mountains into her as well. Maria's journey in the story is really finding her place in the world, and I think that's something everybody can relate to. It's a struggle sometimes, but she is constantly persevering and constantly making the best out of situations and with a positive attitude. Helping Maria come to terms with how her life is changing is Mother Abbess, played by Ashley Brown. Raindrops on roses and whiskers on kittens, bright copper kettles and warm woolen mittens. When I first got the call from Jack O'Brien that he wanted me to play this, you know, I was like, what? He's one of the best directors of our time. He just has this whole new vision of who Mother Abbess is, and that's why he wanted me to play the part. Through rehearsals, that's been the most amazing part of the journey, is finding my Mother Abbess and finding, um, and getting away from what we all know and making her human and making her relatable. Equally important is the role of Captain Von Trapp, who starts out stern, but transforms over time. It's because his wife died and he's, he's been left as a, as a single father of these seven children. So as a sternness, a way of him shutting emotion out is, is the, the, uh, the discipline, his way of keeping things ordered. And otherwise it's a chaotic world to him, one that he can't control and he wasn't able to control the death of his wife. My father passed away two years ago and so you feel that void in, in, in your life and uh, it's never completely filled, but you do find uh, that, that joys in other places and uh, you try to uh, to realize that life goes on. And I think that's what the captain learns through Maria, is that, that life continues on and he's able to, to find uh, joy again. The production still features all the classic songs with music by Richard Rogers, lyrics by Oscar Hammerstein II. Let's talk about some of those iconic songs, Climb Every Mountain. How are you going to make that your own? That's a tough song. And not only technically is it tough, but it's, it's an anthem in musical theater. You know, everybody knows the words, everybody knows the tune. It's not just telling her to go climb because that's what you're supposed to do. You know, it's what I learned when I was at the same crossroads as she is right now. And don't be scared, just go for it, take the leap. And then at the very end, you know, it's, it's she gave me my purpose again. And it's just that give and take of those two characters. And I think that's what makes that song very powerful. It's thrilling, it's wonderful. It's so exciting to be able to sing the songs that I know and love and grew up with with and with such amazing people on stage as well. That was more than evident at the show's premiere. They are losing their minds. It's been so positive. It's really made people see the story in a different light. That's what has been really great about hearing the audience's reaction. It's laughing and crying and screaming and clapping and it's, it's, it's what you want every time you do a musical. I am 16 going on 17. I know that I'm naive. Fellows I meet may tell me I'm sweet and willingly I believe. It is indeed a show the whole family will enjoy. When people walk away from the sound of music, from your sound of music, what do you want them to feel? I, immediately I think of one word, and I hope I hear it in these months ahead. Astonished. Like with anything you love and respect and think you know, in order to listen to it again, you have to be refreshed. And if you hear and see things you didn't see the first time, I think the response would be, I don't know about you, but I was astonished. I'm excited to see all these new cities and to bring such a beloved story all around the country. It's a dream come true. And I'll sing once
where the sound of music continues, coming soon to a theater near you. Check out BroadwayBalancesAmerica.com or go to our website, TheBalancingAct.com, for all the show information, tour dates, and more. Irulu. Even Santa wants one. Get yours today at irulu.com. The holidays are upon us, and you know what that means, ladies. It means time to think about great gift ideas, maybe even some practical stocking stuffers. And for budget-conscious moms like myself, making those gifts practical and usable all year long is just plain, well, it's just plain smart. And speaking of smart, back with us to talk about smart technology devices this gift-giving season is Elizabeth Little of Irulu Technologies. And Elizabeth, it is so Hard to believe that the holidays are upon us, but it's so great to have you back on the set. So Love great, having so you here. So great to see you again. Well, you've got so many goodies for us today. And, you know, I just want to start with what really makes technology devices such a smart choice for gift giving? Well, technology devices and smart devices in particular are such a great stocking stuffer. Everybody loves them. They make our lives easier and more enjoyable. They really do. And, you know, they can be expensive. I mean, let's face it, but what you've brought and what you always bring is price point. And how do you pick the right device for the right person? So first, understand what that person on your wish list uh, really would like in terms of smart technology and then understand what kind of features are essential for them. For example, holiday travel is going to be a lot more fun with kids in the car if they have a tablet because it will keep oh, them occupied. Oh, and it, the parents love that. Exactly. <laughs> but you want to make sure that that tablet has the durability built in so it can stand up to wear and tear. So once you understand really the features and the product you want to buy, go online and do some comparison shopping to make sure you're going to get the most bang for your buck. And um, show us that technology, you've got so much today, but that moms are really going to respond to. As you know, iRulu is best known for tablets and smartphones, yes. but over the years, iRulu.com has become a real destination for a lot of fun and exciting smart devices yes, that go has. beyond tablets and smartphones now. And I brought a nice range to show you today. So the first option is called the Walk-In Book Hybrid Tablet. Bye. And this tablet has a removable touch screen that you can take off and use as a tablet at the end of the day. It's great because it's powered by an Intel processor, it has a Windows operating system, and it comes with a subscription to Office 365. And the Walk-In Book tablet retails for under $200. See, that's amazing to me. I can't believe that. And what I love, I love the hot orange. That is yeah. just, that's it's, happening it's right now. It's great. And it yeah. also comes in green and in black. Perfect. The next is the Lightning tablet, yeah. and the Lightning has an octa-core processor, which makes it really fast for its download speed. Right. So it's perfect for playing games and watching videos. And that tablet retails for under $100. Wait, well, stop. for under $100? Under $100. Okay. We need this. I need this. Every parent needs this. Yes. This yes, is a great Christmas gift it's or holiday awesome gift, whatever stocker. you're, you're yes. looking for. And then I have a couple of tablets for kids. The green is the, called the baby pad, and it has rubberized corners, and then built into the screen are lots of activities kids love, like right. painting and photo editing. And then the purple tablet is a seven inch screen, so it's the perfect size for little hands. And both of these tablets retail for under $50. How do you guys keep the prices so low? Back in 2005, our founder set out on a mission to make smart device technology affordable for everyone. And he developed a low-cost business model that does no traditional advertising, and we sell 100% online. And we pass those cost savings on to consumers in the form of lower prices. And today, we've grown to the point where we have over 250 employees. Wow. We have over 250,000 followers online. And our website, irulu.com, gets 300,000 visits every single month. 
We also have, Julie, a full line of unlocked smartphones that range from $100 to $200. And the benefit of an unlocked phone is that it frees you from contracts with your carriers. Perfect. So you're free to change or cancel service at any time. And this is called the V3, and this V3. is the latest addition to the iRulu family of phones. It has a six and a half inch screen, and the, the challenge with big screens is that they typically come with a trade-off of short battery life and slower processing speed. Wow. The nice thing about the V3 is that the V3 gives you everything that you need in a big screen. You can take your life on the go, but right. you don't have to compromise on battery life or processing speed. It has up to 20 hours of talk time, Wow. And it has a Qualcomm processor, the best you can buy, which gives it really fast download speed and multitasking with your apps. That is really important. And these are so fun. Yeah. I love yeah. these. Yeah. These are new. I haven't seen these right, yet. Right, right. So, so this is just an example of some of the other fun, smart technology devices you can find on irulu.com. We have Bluetooth speakers, and these connect with the tablets and the phones to play your music. And then we also have a line of smartwatches this year. You can use it as a pedometer or to take and answer texts when you're on the go. Elizabeth, where can we go to find all these goodies? Well, our full lineup is available on irulu.com. We're also available on Amazon, eBay, and Newegg. And if you'd like to take a sneak peek at the affordable technology digital devices that won't bust the holiday stocking or the bank, you can also visit us at thebalancingact.com. And of course, you can get that online holiday socializing started right now by logging on to Facebook forward slash thebalancingactfans. Is your soggy cold breakfast routine putting you back to sleep? Okay, time to turn off the snooze button and get cracking on a great new breakfast idea featuring, get this, ramen noodles. Chef Chris Paul is here to get us started. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? I'm awesome, how are you? Good, are you a breakfast eater? I am. You know, I'm really not. I don't have, I don't have time, I'm just out the door, a cup of coffee. This is for you. Really? Yeah. Fast? Because it's easy, fast, it's good, it's healthy. All right. Um, and, it, and you know what? I'm gonna, we're going to make it right here. Really? I'm going to show right you now. how to do it really quickly. All right, show um, me. Eggs. Really important for breakfast, I right? I do love eggs. So we're going <laughs> to so crack these um, right in the bowl. Oops, sorry. We just, I'm sorry. At my house, um, I cook, <laughs> my wife cleans. So, uh, And then we're going to mix it right, right in here. We're going to add a little bit of milk, right? Just a little. If um, I was we're your gonna, wife. We're going <laughs> to... <laughs> That's okay. the deal. I cook, she cleans. Okay. So, um, we mix this in, and all these ingredients you can incorporate, right? You can even get, you can sneak in vegetables, right? The kids don't know it. Okay. You've got spinach, um, cheese, bacon, Ooh, love right? that. tomatoes, a little basil. That kind of incorporates, yeah, broccoli. broccoli. Broccoli is a home run. Um, and this is what's really kind of makes it over the top the noodles. Really? Yes. You add ramen noodles? Yep. Which it's, one? The it's spicy? The spicy. Vegetable flavor. Yep, yep. Ooh, now so the, it has a zing. Yes, exactly. You gotta have zing. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the noodles right in here. I'm still in shock that you threw these eggs. <laughs> uh, we'll clean up, don't worry. That's You're the fun part of it. <laughs> I'm probably never invited back here. No, it's okay. It was just unexpected. <laughs> go ahead. So you just incorporate this, and you wanna get a nice casserole dish that you can put, actually dip a little bit in. It's about three ounces in there. How easy. Yeah, yeah. Okay, can I try one? Please, please, we made you some. And this is the display plate for, for everybody to okay. see. Oh, gosh, goodness gracious. I just ripped a little paper outside. Paper's right. not included. Oh, my God, the paper's <laughs> ripping off. Huh? Noodles, the vegetables. All. Mm. And you can put this anywhere. You could slip in your pocketbook. You can slip in your pocket. And then eat it later. Hey. I know, well, I definitely wouldn't throw it on the no, floor. No, you don't. <laughs> that you don't have to. Thank you so much. Thank this is you. really cute. And for the children, I gave them a pack of a little Ziploc and a little snack. See? Thank you. Breakfast is easy. Breakfast is great. <laughs> Especially when you have a talented chef throwing the eggs. <laughs> Thank you. And if you want to learn more about Marishaw Noodle Bowl, that really was not planned, as you can tell. Log on to thebalancingact.com. You can also follow us on Facebook and Twitter as well. This is really tasty, chef. I'm going to have another little bite. Portions of today's program are brought to you by iRulu, makers of quality tablets and smartphones that fit the family budget. iRulu, today's hottest technology without the high price. I really want to see the Me sound too. of that. Oh my gosh, it looks so fabulous! What is your favorite song from the movie? What do you call a problem like Maria? 
You know, I just want to stand in that dress and twirl in those hills. <laughs> okay, here we go. As always, you can check out our website. I am not a singer. TheBalancingAct.com. <laughs> We're also on Facebook and Twitter. And until next time, remember, find your balance. So long, everybody. But I love you.